Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here, and welcome to episode 55 of Last FIFA 14. We sold on a few items on our transfer list from the packs we got in yesterday's episode, and yeah, it's not the most outstanding profits we made there, but still, it's a few coins into the club, and we are also selling on our 4 3 3 squad with Nani and Corona, and uh, we'll get quite a few coins in from some of the informs and uh, Samuel Eto as well. And when you look in the top left hand corner, we got 148k now, and the reason for that is because I went out and picked up a bail um, as a center attack mid on an open bid 684,000 coins and I was not too bothered uh, with the price because I saw some of the open bit uh, yeah one of the, one of the open bits went up to 700 and five six seven thousand and the cheapest buy now was 715 at the point so I think I will probably be ma be able to make my coins back with the loss from tax in the end so I'm not too bothered uh, with picking bail up even though it can be a bit of a loss because there is a lot of tax on him and maybe the market crash will affect it a little bit but I hope I can make my coins back I'll play him for few games try him out and then we'll send him on but uh, yeah we complete the squad here with the final player of Casillas so this is the team in the net we do have Casillas he got all around very good stats the only letdown on the game is his height which sometimes can be a bit of a problem but still he is a good keeper overall on the game we got Varane as our first center back very very good in my opinion we got Danilo I picked him up by mistake as a right wing back but luckily we do have a position modifier in the club and I think it only costs like 150 50 coins if you want to pick it up uh, or out on the market so it didn't really matter too much I applied it to Danilo there we got a uh, Kabul on the center back spot uh, one of the players you see in a lot of squads because his stats are really good for center back on the game left back we got a Mangala the informed version very good heading and defending stats and I think it'll be a good defensive left back in my opinion and uh, then we have a team of the season player in Schneiderlin on the center mid spot. I wanted to have a team of the season player into the squad and it ended up being Schneiderlin. He got good defensive stats, decent pace, uh, passing and his heading is all right as well. And uh, yeah, he'll link nicely up with the other French players in the in the squad and on the other center mid spot. We do have a Modric and uh, he is a really good player. And, uh, all around very good stats, uh, he got good shooting, passing, dribbling, and I think he will do a good job as a box-to-box -box midfielder. And finally, we do have a Bale on the center, attacking mid, extremely fast, got a decent, uh, quite good shooting, I'd say. Passing and dribbling is good, and even good defending and heading stats, and hopefully he will be able to score some cool goals. That is at least what I hope I'll be able to do with him. Uh, on the right wing, we had Kelvin with the five-star skills. Informed Griezmann on the left wing, I didn't pick up the second inform because he was a little bit too expensive uh, for the coins. I had left so I picked up the first in form and we're giving him a try and finally Neymar on the top the guy that just keeps on scoring for me so that is pretty much the team but before we play with them we're heading on into the silver class a tournament to play the final and just get the fitness up on our new squad as well and in the final we come up against a silver side and uh uh, I would have most of the chances going in this game. First off, it's Emnes trying out a shot, but it is saved by his keeper. And we get another chance in the 23rd minute. We play Carlson on through our center back. We get the rebound, but a nice double save from his keeper. And uh, it is still nil-nil. Quincy gets on the ball. A few skill moves here. He'll make his way out on the wing and eventually go into the box. I tried to kind of get it in and maybe chest it up. But in the end, there's no space for it. So I went with the header. Uh, but it didn't really go into the back of that. So at halftime, I was sitting on most of the chances. But I just couldn't get that goal. So El Kabir gets on the ball in the 45th minute. And we'll pick up a free kick. And in yesterday's episode, we hit the bar with Kelstrom. But this time around, he will convert it. And he will make it 1-0. A nice free kick from Kelstrom. His free kick styles are really, really good. And uh, I was quite happy with that goal. It's always nice scoring a free kick goal. And that brings, up, bring us, brings us up 1-0. But his first chance in the game, he plays a through ball. I knew it was coming. I tried to pass it. But that stupid thing in the game where they just... Yeah, I don't know what the defender was doing. He passes across, and he will get the equalizer to make a 1-1. So I was a little bit frustrated with that because I just got the lead, and he was back into the game. And then 75th minute, he breaks on through. He'll pass it across again, but we'll get a tackle in. We try to clear it away, but we do not get it far enough away. A nice little fake shot there. Got to give him that, and in the end, he makes it 2-1. His second shot on target in the game, and he wins the game 2-1. Oh, this game was not fun to lose. Uh, I really wanted to win that final, to be honest. And I felt the first goal, that was just 
Oh, that, that, that was a tough one to take because I, I, he, I kept him away from chances, but unfortunately my defender acted up when I tried to kind of make a pass too early and... Yeah, that means we'll lose the final, unfortunately. But still, we're going to give our new squad a go in the Championship Tournament. And we come up against a quite nice team there with a lot of good players and a Team of the Season player as well. And I gave my first chance with Neymar in the 7th minute, trying out a shot, but it is straight in the arms of Quatois, I believe he had in the net. And we get another chance with Neymar just wide off the post. I really do like playing with Neymar because that 5-star weak foot, you can pretty much shoot from anywhere. We try out another shot, but just wide off the post once again. But eventually we'll get a goal, very very lucky, not gonna lie, it makes it 1-0, not a good goal in any way. But we get the lead and we continue on creating chances, it is Neymar, he finds Bale, we try out a shot with him. But it hits the post, unlucky there, and on the rebound we are actually offside, so it didn't really matter, we missed the shot. And instead he will get a chance, 48th minute, he plays it on through, he gets one rebound, he gets two rebounds, and in the end... Yeah, I couldn't keep on saving it, so he gets the equalizer to make it 1-1, and a lot of stuff was going to happen in the second half. He hits Kelvin on the ball, he goes to one scoop, turn past one defender, past another one, and in the end, he'll get the goal, bring me up at 2-1, but just a few minutes later, he'll play a through ball, he'll cross it in, I knew it was coming, but I just couldn't get there and mark his player, so he makes it 2-2, he gets the equalizer, but Neymar would show up as well, a few skill moves here, he'll play it on through to Bale, but he just couldn't convert the chance, unfortunately. But Neymar, once again, on the ball, goes past one defender, takes on another one before he takes the shot and makes it 3-2. Gives me the lead, and we get another chance 10 minutes later. It's Kelvin with some really nice skill moves here. He goes past three defenders. Unfortunately, he could not convert it, but Bale is on the rebound to make it 4-2. And all our attacking players got a goal in this game. Bale, Neymar, Griezmann, and... Um, and Kelvin, and that is pretty much how the game ends. We win 4-2, and that is also going to be where we end off this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, we'll most likely be back again tomorrow with another video, and that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.